Portia Gamezzi, a mom of two little boys, was 11 weeks pregnant last year when she died after doctors did not give her a DNC to complete her miscarriage. Portia lived in Houston, Texas with her husband and her two sons, ages three and five. Her husband was hoping for a baby girl. 10 weeks into her pregnancy, Portia noticed she was spotting. Over the phone, her OBGYN told her to go to the emergency room if things got worse. When the bleeding got heavier, Portia went to the ER at Houston Methodist Sugarland. For seven hours, she bled heavily. She had to get two transfusions, and she was passing clots the size of grapefruits. She needed a DNC, a common procedure for first trimester miscarriages and abortions. If a doctor could remove the remaining tissue from her uterus, the bleeding would stop. The obstetrician on duty instead gave her a drug called misoprostol, to help her body pass the tissue. Experts told ProPublica this was not recommended for a patient in her condition. She needed urgent action to stop the bleeding. Portia took the pills, but she kept bleeding. Three hours later, she died, leaving behind her husband and two boys. Portia's death was preventable, according to more than a dozen doctors who reviewed a summary of her case for ProPublica. Her case raises serious questions about how abortion bans are pressuring doctors to diverge from the regular standard of care. Head to the link in our bio to read more.